All right, guys, so I threw it out on Instagram the day before filming this, and I, you know, I gave you the opportunity to ask some questions that we could put in this YouTube. So I'm just gonna read some off and fire away with some questions. There was a bunch of them, so I'm not gonna get around to all of them, but there's a few good ones. Who do you train with and do you have a trainer? So yeah, I have a trainer. Um, he's more of just a, a good mate now and we just bounce ideas off each other and he's not there to hold my hand. Um, if anything, uh, he, he'll call me and make sure he's just pulling the reins back a little bit on what, he, what I do. His name's Guy Andrews. He's a three-time Iron Man, Uncle Toby's Iron Man champ from back in the 90s. Uh, we've become close over the years and just become good buddies. So um, it's been a huge asset having him in my corner. I just, uh, I've learned so much and just to have that friendship is, is really awesome. And you know, he's not from motocross, but he's from a very elite level of training. And he has helped me develop my body uh, for motocross because we looked at all the data and he's come out riding with me even and um, just spent so much time together that we know what we've got to do. So yeah. We, we refine my program every single year. Uh, we don't change much, but just trying to improve bit by bit as, um, you know, as, as the world's getting more knowledge about the body as well. And yes, I, I do have a training buddy. It's uh, Jace Cosford. He's a pro in MX2. Unfortunately, at the moment, he's just out with a knee injury. Uh, I should have him back in about two to three weeks from now. Uh, it's been, <laughs> I've been missing him, man. He, uh, he'd rock up at my place six o'clock every morning and would get it all done. Look, I'm still getting it done, um, but it was, yeah, no, it's just awesome to have that energy around me, you know, of a, of a young guy. And also just have someone really reliable to, to go to the track with and do the motos with and, and just know there's no question, there's no humming and hawing or bitching and moaning. It's just, we'll get in there and get the work done together. So it's been, um, it's been awesome. First time I would say that I've had a true training buddy um, for actual bike riding and yeah it's it's been awesome so uh yeah hoping to have him back soon we've got a question here from mia she asked do you get paid to ride or just sponsored what does the sponsor include so yeah i, I don't have like a, a base salary from a manufacturer or a team uh but i do get sponsored so um i get you know i get some some money from like fox and scott and things like that. Uh, I've got some bonuses set up around the place. Uh, but yeah, I, I've got some private sponsors as well that have just you know, jumped on board because they like me as a person, not because they have to, or, or even think they could get much out of advertising with me. They just <laughs> really wanted to help. So that's been awesome actually. So yeah, I've got sponsorship, not a, a salary at the moment. Got a question here from Mitch. What's the biggest difference going privateer from factory and what would you prefer at the moment? So, uh, me being a privateer, um, it just means I've got kind of free range to choose all the products I want and, and to be surrounded by the, the, the people that I want around me. So, every single product you see on the bike is hand chosen and also the people around me is, is who I believe is the, the best people to have around. And look, do I prefer being privateer or factory? Look. It's awesome being being factory, you get a salary, you got everything paid for, like you definitely have to dip into your pockets a fair bit more as a privateer. Um, you know, I've got to remind myself not to complain about it though, because this is what I chose to do. And when I, when I come back, I was pretty late to the party and knew that maybe there's no factory deals around or, or a factory deal that I would accept. So yeah, just uh, more expenses as a privateer, but more flexibility at the same time. We got one here from the owner of Brisbane Motorcycles. Is it true that you got smoked down the beach by the owner of Brisbane Motorcycles on the Fraser trip? <laughs> that is absolutely not true. It did end in tears um, for James, and we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, we got one from Jimmy, I think it is. How do you feel compared to other championship years? Would you like to represent Australia at the Motocross of Nations? And someone else did actually ask, would I put my hand up or would I accept, you know, if I got um, chosen to go to the Nations or asked? Uh, long and short, yes, I would love to go to the Nations. I would definitely um, want to clean up my act just a little bit. And, and, you know, I'm pretty close to 
riding the best I've ever ridden, but I want to make sure I do it really consistently and, and, and solid because, you know, I guess it's the Lawrence brothers that would be first and second pick if they want to go, um, definitely. And I, I would not be letting them down, you know what I mean? So for me to go, I'd make, I'd make sure that I'm, I'm definitely ready for it. And um, of course, there is a lot of good, other good options and, and Mitch Evans, he's getting better and better. So we'll see where that all goes um, in a couple of months time. Uh, and how I feel compared to the other years uh, in the championship or championship wise, I feel like I have at times had more speed probably than ever. Um, doing it consistently um, hasn't been quite as easy. I think I'm getting to the bottom of that now and, and hope to be able to display that at the next three rounds of the Pro MX. But um, yeah, to, to, to answer it, it's, um, I would say the field is deeper than it was in previous years, like as for talent and speed and everything. So winning um, this year with this level of competition I, I would say I'm near my best. Uh, just need to execute, you know, execute all the little things a, a little better. Make sure I get good starts and 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 do it every time. So hopefully I can answer that definitively, like after the championship. And I'd love to be able to say, yeah, this was me at my best or better than the other years. And we'll just finish up with this one from Mick Webb 81. Any plans to race Fink? I mean, it's been on the back of my mind for like the last 15 or 20 years to maybe go out and do it. Um, my brother's done it, a lot of my cousins have done it. Um, I think I would do really good at it, but no plans to actually commit to do it because um, a few reasons. It would be like a four month commitment, I believe, to go out there and be able to run the pace to be at, you know, to win because you need to know the track. You'd need to be going down and back a few times a week testing and then that means you need a support crew and a team behind you to go down and test and it's actually pretty sketchy i think probably the the, the testing of the, of the race because you're just in the middle of nowhere with no help if something goes wrong and i'm not really into that you know at the race i believe there's people all around and there's medics and stuff like that and it wouldn't be too bad but man just going four months at like 180 k's an hour down that track they're gnarly dudes. They're really gnarly dudes to go and do that. So I never say never. I, I don't really plan on racing things, though. No.